Yo, f women, honestly. Get off my d Please refrain from being a f***ing whore, nagging whore. I've heard, go make them sandwiches. I've heard to go back to the kitchen. I've heard that I am not good because I'm a girl. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to day number one of the Fortnite DreamHack tournament. Whoa. People want to watch people who are good. So if you play a lot and you're practicing, people want to see that. Because there's no existing support there, a lot of female gamers don't want to go pro. Nobody wants to be the nail that gets hammered back down. I've seen a lot of girls at the top of male competitive environment quit. Looking good, you got it. Good luck. Esports, it's a quickly emerging form of professional video game playing, where individual players or teams compete to win cash prizes, sometimes in the millions of dollars. In 2020, the esports industry is predicted to surpass $1 billion in revenue. Popular games like Overwatch and Fortnite are attracting a very wide audience. Still, despite this, the competitive gaming world is known to be incredibly male-dominated. So, just out of curiosity, hey, is, is this how you guys treat every girl that comes into your comp games? Shut the fuck up! And <laughs> no, no, make no, I'm just wondering. Hey. <laughs> There's no comment that can turn me away from this game. I still want to play. <laughs> Chastity, also known by her gaming handle Cupcake, is one of five members of Team Paradox, an all-female gaming team trying to go pro. Each member of Team Paradox ranks in the top 1% of players for the game Overwatch. <laughs> this game, when it came out like three years ago, I fell in love with it immediately and it quickly became like a big part of my life. Currently, we are one of the only female teams. A lot of our team would love to see one of us go pro. We are practicing so, so hard. So maybe like the whole team maybe gets looked at and picked up by an org, or maybe one of our players is scouted and brought up. That would be amazing. We want to push not only our team forward, but our players forward. I do really enjoy playing with women because I believe that the layer of gender really doesn't matter. It's just out the window. My name is Stephanie Harvey, also known in the gaming industry as Miss Harvey. I'm a professional Counter-Strike player, and I won in 2007, 2010, 11, 12, and 15. What I've learned throughout my career, is if you want to become pro, you need to work extremely hard and kind of fight for this by yourself. A lot of the people in the community think that you're stealing a spot or that that money should go somewhere else, or that you're not good enough to be sponsored. There's so much attention when you reach the top of a top game, and so much pressure that a lot of the times, these girls don't really want to continue and pursue or feel like it's worth it. How I'm feeling? Uh, hungry. <laughs> I think that's my, my one, number one thing on my mind right now is getting food, but in terms of uh, playing, I'm feeling pretty calm. Like, not feeling anxious yet, at least. Maybe when I get there, I'll feel a little more uh, nervous. Today is a DreamHack Anaheim, so that they're doing a solos tournament, so everybody's just playing against each other. There's 1,200 people competing, and only 100 people in the grand finals. I'm Madison Mann, nickname's Maddie, and I play for Genji Sports. I got signed in 2018. Probably roughly practiced lately about six to eight hours a day. And that's pretty much every single day. I have a lot of pressure because the last solo tournament I, I didn't do as well in Australia. And I, I went on Twitter and I was just getting flamed for no reason. And I feel like the extra pressure of just being who I am can take a huge toll on even my performance, because I don't want to let anyone else down, let, let alone myself down. I don't want to make any mistakes because the whole world's watching. It's kind of stressful. You want uh, left wander? Yeah. All three. Eat him. I just want to take care of it. Yeah, he just says each. 
Okay. <laughs> I think I, I knew the harassment I would face because I've always experienced it being just a girl online. Like I've heard everything since I was nine years old. It's definitely gotten more personal because it's like my everyday like job and I have to hear harassment from other pros and it's pretty annoying, but at the same time, I'm like, someone has to take the bullet in order for things to change. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to DreamHack Anaheim. We're at the Anaheim Convention Center. I'm Balanty W, joined by Shia Wager, and today is the Fortnite DreamHack Tournament. This is a $250,000 prize pool, grand prize of $30,000. So it's simple. You last longer, you get points. You eliminate people. To make you last longer, you get points. It's all about survival, all about winning that game. Those mats you found, like, mid-rotation were huge, because you had no mats. You're playing well, keep it up, keep it up. They've been practicing for months, so once we're here, my strategy is more to just make sure they're comfortable. Go get them, you know, an energy drink, some water, just really do everything outside of the game so they can focus on just the game. In esports right now, there aren't any female players at the top level of play. It really hasn't been explored, I think. My name is Barry Lee, and um, I'm an esports agent with Evolve Talent Agency. I represent a variety of pro players in different esports. If you look at the marketing for video games in the late 90s and even in the early 2000s, a lot of it has been directed to boys that had a large swing towards like skewing the gaming population, way more male dominated. What we're seeing now is clawing back against it. So until teams are saying that we want the best female gamers, then you know, develop them, find coaches, you know, coach up these female talent, scout them out, and then really just make it worth their while to be the nail that sticks out. You're playing well, keep it up, keep it up. Denji has been making strong efforts towards building a program of female gamers. It remains to be seen whether Genji has a top all-female Fortnite team. You know, I wish them the best. We got it in this In Fortnite, you can play well, but still do poorly. So it can be really frustrating, like mentally, when you're playing really well, but things just aren't going your way. It's all Gucci, still got tomorrow too. Nothing to stress over. It is indeed annoying, but it's Fortnite. Fortnite is annoying. That was a good game. I got had a sniper RPG. <laughs> I, I didn't even know where it came from. If I didn't get hit by that, I would have been perfect. Oh, you, you still have three matches remaining? Yeah. Oh, you're good. Yeah. You're good. A pretty devastating. There was a power outage, and I was eight points away from qualifying. Top 200, but they didn't give us an extra 30 minutes so I could play my last game. So, all in, I guess I'm just ready for tomorrow because I know what to expect and I know I'll qualify if nothing else goes wrong. There's kind of this Maisokis loop when you are a woman in gaming trying to get better. You're trying to be a better competitor, so you have to play more. You play more, so more chances that you get your ass or insulted while you're gaming, where you're kind of depressed, but you want to be better, so you play more, and it makes you more depressed. So it can be a little bit challenging. It really affects you in the early years. It is actually insane that every single person on this team is acting this way. No, I'm not going to, because I've put up with it for too many fucking games. We really don't care. We really don't. I went to university full-time last fall. I got the eSports scholarship, which was quite a bit. I played for their um, Overwatch team. Um, I captained their team. And I was going to school full time and I was also working a part-time job. So I was doing that all at one time. And things started to go really, really sour with my mental health. At the end of February this year, I, um, I ended up in the hospital for an attempted suicide. And yeah. My one escape, which is Overwatch and gaming, isn't exactly the most fun and safe environment. <laughs> Obviously the community is toxic to everyone, but a lot of the things that uh, 
that were directed to me were um, sexist and not great. <laughs> and I've had people since then, they have brought up my suicide attempt in game and told me I, I should have done it better, <laughs> basically. So I did take a break from competing, but I love Overwatch, so I did eventually come back. <laughs> No matter what happens in my life, like mental illness, this game is going to be there for me. Welcome back to the Anaheim Convention Center. It's now day two for the DreamHack tournament. There's some people who missed yesterday who are coming back again for more. I mean, yeah, it's a second chance, but it's a last chance at getting a shot at that title. So much is on the line and the reputation from winning one of these tournaments is huge. Alrighty, this is the one. This is the one. There's a lot more high expectations as being a female on the professional field. It definitely takes a toll because I don't want to disappoint not only my coach, my myself, and then the people that support me, and then I don't want to hear the negativity that comes with it. 40 seconds, you ready? Good luck. Let's go, Maddie. Let's go. Let's go. You're good. Like, there's like seven people in the retail. I think when it goes. Today she's struggling more so than any other day. It's ten games, so you gotta have the right mental fortitude for all ten. I hit somebody with my trap. Did on like six people. Oh yes. But Maddie might actually clutch up. <laughs> she's got four kills, fourteen alive. This is our last game. We need to finish strong, Maddie. You're going to be really, really close. Really, really close. So you're in, what, 164 right now? So you got 36 slots. Go, like, below you. So, yeah, it's just going to come down to the wire. I mean, I know you don't want to hear it, but you, you would have qualified yesterday. I mean, you would have. It's not fair. Maddie? Yeah. No, Maddie got bumped out. You did good, Maddie. Don't be so hard on yourself. I would say I'm here to kick the gates open, but I'm also here just because I want to win. Even though I'm not the best right now, I, I want to get there. It probably will be difficult. And right now, the only tool that you have to help yourself is really building that shell and creating a support system around you to help you face adversity. 